Jay from the Cubs Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Dongan Robo B3 Killing Harmony. First of all, I just want to thank you all so much for 50,000 likes on the first video. We are about to enter the second half of the fourth class trial. I have no idea who did it, but I got all the evidence still right here, and I'm not going to forget anything. So I'm going to make sure we make this nice and quick. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! Uh, my head! I'm forgetting someone important to me, but uh, I just can't. Mommy? My head. Are you talking about mommy? My head hurts so much. I just can't. Oh you shit, my bad. I did not mean to press my fat finger on the key. From this point forward, let's start a new life for ourselves. After all, our baby is excited to meet his daddy, you know? Our baby? What do you mean, our baby? Daddy. Wait, what? I'm gonna be a father? Wait, they're brother and sister, right? Unless that's the step bro. But even then, that's completely sick. But anyway, no more talking about step bros and step Is that is that in the plural of step sis? Step sis? Surprised if he doesn't Whatever. die after that. L let me just focus, okay? Let me hocus more focus. Importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left off. We understand Mew plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. The first three people that just talked, I know that they did not do it. Including Shuichi, that's four people. So the only people left are Sumugi, Gonta, Kibo, and Himiko. Those are the Let's four suspects that your boy is eyeing on in this step. episode. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. Let's see. Mew manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. Yeah. Don't just ignore me and start. No, I got the hiccups. If she oh had crap! Succeeded, she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion, and then wham, murdered me on the roof with the hammer. Yeah, like I said in the last episode, I think that she Mew got thrown off the balcony like and then thrown the onto the other side because of how the map was Kaito. constructed. As for Mew's alibi in the real world. She could say she was locked into the virtual world, and in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. Allergies are acting up right now. She'd make an I excuse about how everybody. she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. But yeah, like I said, I think that she was thrown off the roof and then thrown onto the other side because of how she edited the map. Whoops, my hand slipped. She dropped the bridge on purpose so she could separate the chapel from the mansion. Yeah, the river is where the map split. And then... One side is actually passed through the, the other side of it. And took advantage of the loop. Like, the chapel is actually next to the mansion. After, See? She headed to where we were supposed to meet at, the mansion's rooftop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kaito was probably logged out around that time, too. That's when I saw Mew. So why did we hear Kibo scream? Was he next to the chapel or was he near the mansion Problem and he threw off me off of the roof? Murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. I don't know. She was killed on the roof, right? Yeah. Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Maybe that when culprit killed her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Perhaps. I don't think you did it. I think the killer locked if the Mew door to the roof. It, Definitely. She would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. Mm -mm. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Mm -hmm. well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. She was smart, but she was also really, really dumb. I know I told you that I have my eyes on four suspects. Himiko is one of them, but I can just say it's three now because I don't think that she did it. So it's either Samugi, Gonta, or Kibo. No Those are the three people that I'm things. eyeing. Killing gang bad, not Mew. Sometimes I think that Gonta's act stupid on purpose. Mew, not bad person. So nobody throws sus Gonta on him. Gonta think we could have been friends if things. That might have been difficult. Even without this killing game. Like, how many times have they told him virtual world and he still doesn't know what it is? That you know what happen. I mean? Like, I feel like he's just playing no, dumb sometimes. No way, Jose. Huh? Anyway, let's continue the discussion. If Mew was killed on the roof of the mansion... I hope it's not Kibo, though. I really like his character. The culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved her avatar. 
Now we know the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. So she got killed on the roof and then got yeeted off into the other side next the to the chapel. The problem is the wall between them. Mm -hmm. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. Okay, so why do we hear Kibo's the voice then? Sent Mew's avatar through that wall. Yeah, that's the only way, right? Does that make Kibo even more suspicious? The but fact that we the heard his voice Mew's after Mew died. The wall. I mean, he did go like, oh, didn't he? I mean, it's not. Or like am I making that far. up? I don't know. Go to not throw her. We know you couldn't because the avatar's physical strength was equalized. Hmm. Physical strength. Equalized? Okay, my two main suspects right now are Gonta and Sumugi. That problem. Only Gonta because Kibo no seemed shocked, if that I think, when he found Mew's body. Jeez, keep up with us. Unless they just heard him We're talking in the background. In the second half of the class trial. I can't remember if he hmm. was doing How that. How did they send Mew's avatar to the other side of the hmm. wall? Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard. Yeah, I remember that loud sound. It was like a bang! Oh, it was a bang! See, I told you, my memory... Bro, I got the memory of an elephant. I never forget. What was that? Yeah. Because so it couldn't sound, have been Samugi then. My bad. The because Samugi was with us the entire right, time. Duh. Okay. So I think it's either going to be Kibo or Gonta. There, right? If so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel are related. Yeah, Gonta or Kibo. Those are the two suspects. Yes, there's no doubt in my mind that the noise is related to this case. We need to figure out what that sound could have been. It might be the clue we need to solve this case. So what was it? It sounded like something slamming hard into something else. So what were those two things? It could be the sound we heard like two objects colliding. Uh, Mew hitting the wall. That's Her it. lifeless body hitting the wall. I mean, what else could it be? Are you I shitting me right now? From Mew's avatar hitting the chapel wall. I'm not a detective, but damn, you can put two and two together. Like her body got thrown off, Hammer, but bang, cell phone hit the wall. Were there. And bada bing, bada boom, they that's how it's done. Too small to make that noise. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with a wall. I really like Shuichi's voice, by the way. I don't know if I ever told you all if that. That's the case. It's a really Mew's soothing voice. Must have hit the chapel wall really hard. He's my favorite protagonist voice out of all the Danganronpa games that I've played so far. He felt the impact all the way from the inside of the chapel. Yeah, that's the real question. Mew's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? Hold on, Kokichi. What's up with the way you're talking? Why are you talking like you know everything? Because he does. I'm pretty sure he knows exactly how the murder unfolded. Let's he just wants us all to solve it. Because right it's fun. Right, everybody? More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Friends? Us? Anyway, can we talk about that after we figure this problem out? A way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Getting Mew's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion's roof. There's only one way I can think of how to do that. Hey, Shuichi, as your partner, I'll give you a little hint. All right, I'll take it. You what? Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. So are you trying to say that the if snow the made her slide off? to move the body, I wonder how they did it. Kokichi is talking as if he's got the whole thing figured out already. But I can't let him distract me. I need to solve the case. How to make Mew hit the chapel wall from the roof of the mansion? I'm gonna find the answer. Well, you could ask Kokichi because he obviously knows what it is. Well, let's see what we got here. We have three words. The first word starts with a D, as in don't you dare do this to me. Nope. L, as in I never take any. S, as in Sokya Moresoka. L? Okay, the first word's gotta be slid then. Like how I slid into nobody's DMs. Slid, slid off wall, slid off wall. There's a Monokuma thing there. Yeah, okay. So slid, yup, it's definitely off wall. Slid off wall. You guys know what I do. I stay solving these things. Okay, it's not slid off wall. It's slid off roof. Same thing, everybody. Tomato potato. The culprit used the sloped roof as a slide for Mew's avatar. Slide? 
Slip and slide, oh, baby. Even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would slide. But the avatars can generate friction. We wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. So I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. No, no. It would slide. <laughs> no, no. No, no, Monsieur Lee. Just like Maki Roll said. <laughs> I like the way he said that. No, 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 no. Just like Shumai said. Who the hell is Shumai? Oh, he's a pupil of Roman Man. Uh, sorry, my hobby slipped in. Not forgiven. I'm positive that's how Mew's avatar was moved, but maybe the culprit used something else as well to help the body slide. The lattice, right? Little old lattice, lattice and tomato. It's gotta be, because if it's not. Then you know what? So help me God. Signboard uses a bridge, toilet paper, hammer, cell phone, and what was the last one? Lattice. Would it slide off Lattice, like baby. Alright. Well, Let's see would. which one. We gotta agree with Kokichi. We can't contradict him. Because he agrees with Shuichi. Sure. Lots of snow piled up on roof. It really did. Not frozen solid, right? Yeah, I'm pretty damn it's sure it's Lattice near out. Chapel. We just gotta shoot at somebody's whack ass statement right now. But in the virtual world, perhaps not. Mm -hmm. It's not the issue. Come on, somebody give me something. Somebody give me something. Somebody give me something. Come on, let me shoot at one thing. Just one time for the homie DJ Screw. There was nothing like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How about this? How about that? Give me some. Come on. One take. Jay's in the building. He didn't even knock in. He just walked in. He said, "I'm here, bitches." There was something that could have Sorry. been used to help Sorry, slide when Mew's I want to take the bullets, I get really hyped up. I apologize. I apologize for that. I need to calm down. Do okay, you remember that. the lattice that was found by Mew's avatar? Oh, it's a spicy. The culprit later on top of that, then used it as a sled on the roof. No, I feel got hot saying that. Sorry. I got too hot. Way too hot. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. Oh, yeah, that's what was in there. Okay, I was wondering what was missing in there. But during the investigation... I saw that it was gone. Dun, dun, dun! The lattice that was found next to the chapel is the one that disappeared from the roof? Yeah. Then that's it. The culprit used the lattice as a sled. Bingo. Ding, ding, ding! That's correct! We already knew that, though. Like, we could have solved that all in two minutes. We could have wrapped that shit up in, like, one minute into a burrito of knowledge. But instead, everybody want to talk about everything. On the That's cute. The black in <laughs> and slid her down the roof steep slope. We picked up speed, flew off the roof. That low at least 200 miles per hour. Glided through that was crazy. Only objects could pass through and hit the chapel. The impact made all of her belongings scatter, including the hammer and cell phone. Just like that hedgehog who loses all his rings whenever he crashes into stuff. I, I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and I hate that hedgehog. Monokuma got some issues. Daddy, he has some deep-rooted issues. Well, More issues than these two people that I thought were brother and sister and apparently they have a kid together. Yeah. What is up with that? Be an to our new Yo, stop yeah, with that. Father. Or should I start calling you grandfather now? Now that we know how the body slid down, what is that? Just one step away the from hell, the culprit. What the hell is that? Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? The culprit. Yeah. In the end, we'll still need to guess the culprit, huh? I mean, I have a clue. I think it's either Kibo or Gonta, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. Gonta can't believe one of us killed Mew. Maybe I'm However, completely wrong. Since we know she was killed on the roof. We can narrow down the list of suspects. I mean, we did hear your Maybe voice, though. The culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. Aside from you, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. So that means the suspects are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi, and Gonta. That's real sneaky, leaving yourself off the list. <laughs> oh, you got me. That's right. Five suspects. Me, Sumugi, Gonta, Kokichi, and Kaito. We don't know enough to name the culprit yet, but one of them is sus. When we were talking about the rooftop, they clearly lied. But what reason would they have to lie? I'll need to press them for info before making any judgments. Oh, crap! 
Who was lying? It's Kokichi. Kokichi's the one that's lying. It's you. But it's not him, though. He's not the culprit. Like, asking Kokichi, Kokichi if he's a liar is like asking Himiko if her hair's red hmm. or if her magic stinker than my dad's tits. The answer is yes, of Why course it is. Just now? Like, of course Which Kokichi's liar a liar. Of course all about, this. Shuichi? I lie a lot, so you'll need to jog my exactly, memory. Exactly, dude. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. Wow. Ooh. Also, I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. We know that he was lying, though. Where are we going with this? It all began when Mew showed us the map. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. It was that testimony that bothered me. Mind, mind, start. Okay, well, let's see what we're gonna work with here. The question is, what did Kokichi lie about? Okay, he said he never went to the rooftop for the meeting, but he clearly did. So let me eliminate these blocks. There you go, and I'm pretty sure this is it, right? When you were explaining that the door to the roof was locked, you said... Also, I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. But later, you said... Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. Well, you know what? We all took a tour of the mansion earlier before any of that stuff, right? Stuff you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. I mean, everybody went to the roof, didn't they? Oh yeah! Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? Maybe he's gonna mention it right now. You could probably see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion. All right, Maki, playing devil's advocate. I see you. But you wouldn't know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. Oh, never mind. I take that back. Huh? huh? What? What's this all about, Kokichi? Did you actually go to the rooftop? Don't tell me it is, Kokichi. I, I, I just didn't. I already t told you that b before. Nah, there's no way. There's no Why way. Why do you look so nervous? Is this a sincere reaction? B but there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the roof. Oh, wait. I remember now. That thing Himiko said. <laughs> At the start of the class trial, I remember you saying the handrail was made of bricks. Ooh, you so clumsy, girl. <laughs> Gotta be more careful there, Himiko. Is it my fault? It's always your fault. Himiko really say that? She totally said that. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. She did not. She did too. Then when? Tell me how long ago. In hours, minutes, and seconds. <laughs> what a worthless fight! Stop them, Grandpa! All this terrible fighting is bad for the baby! Yeah, Grandfather! Stop them before your grandkid is born! I'm not gonna apologize, cause Himiko said it! So damn stubborn! How much longer are you going to behave like this? We don't have time for this. But Kokichi is stubborn. He won't fess up no matter what. But if he's being this stubborn, it makes me think he has something to hide. To get him to show his hand, I have to prove he was on the roof. I might not like it, but I have to be aggressive. If we don't get the whole truth now, everyone's lives are in danger. Okay, so does this mean I gotta turn the bullet into a lie? I just gotta bullshit them? I gotta turn the bullshitter into the bullshitty? Monocomo file four, small bottle of poison, loud noise. I didn't phone. go to the roof! Okay, let's see. I've had enough of your lies, man! Kokichi in the I'm salon. I'm not lying! Hold on. Kokichi in the salon. Kokichi agreed to meet up with Mew on the roof, but because the door to the rooftop was locked, he couldn't. Because of that, he returned to the salon and decided to search there. There are no witnesses who can confirm whether or not Kokichi was actually in the salon. Okay, so let me the see something. Door was locked and I couldn't open Kokichi it. not in the salon. Okay, so maybe I do Kokichi not I in the salon and I gotta fire course. it somewhere. There you go, there you go, right there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! I Man, I cannot talk today. I said, there you go, there you go, there you go. I think I'm just tired. Kokichi, I don't know what it is. You're lying right now, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Huh? Lying about what? Just before the murder occurred, I went to the salon to check on you. Yeah, I did. Wanted to see if you got your hair done. But you weren't there. Mm-mm. I was going to ask you what kind of shampoo what? you used to. Really? Really like that purple glow you have. For a while. You never showed up. Mm. What's this all about, Kokichi? Yeah, you want to explain you go that right tough back guy? To the salon after finding the roof door locked? I see. 
see. You use underhanded tactics too, huh, Shuichi? So who he are knows. you guys gonna believe? He knows. Shuichi? Oh God. <laughs> well, of course I'm gonna believe Shuichi. I believe Shuichi 100%. The one who's not Kokichi. Hundred house points. Oh, no. Himiko points to Shuichi. I'd rather have house points. They're more valuable. But to go to the salon, Shuichi would need to pass by me in the dining room. Oh shit, Samugi, why? Um, I wonder why I didn't notice Shuichi there. Oh well, I'll believe Shuichi anyway. He's usually right about stuff. Sorry, but I'm going to believe Shuichi too. Hmm. I see. I wanted at least Gonta to believe me. I gotta put. I dropped some my what eyes. Comes around, goes around. That's what happens to liars like you. Here we go. Why do you guys hate lies that much. Ah, uh, yes, we do. We do. We do. There's only Promise one truth. Promise we do. But endless oh God, baby girl, we do. For lies, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. And some I know. I know. I know. White lies, or lies to be kind to people. If you deny all of that just because it's a lie. And that means you guys are just terrible at being lied to. Seriously, the worst. Just spit it out already. You went to the roof, didn't you? Isn't that where he met up with Mew? No, he didn't just meet her there. He probably... Okay, fine. I'll tell you if you want to know that badly. Consider this my revenge. Revenge? You got some balls lying to me. I'm gonna take away your fun for pissing you me off, You got some big Shuichi. old balls lying to me. I won't let you got some big old saggy ones lying to me. Or deduction, or mystery solving, or anything. Oh? So, I'll confess everything. You guys better listen carefully. Confess? A confession? So you are the culprit after all. He's probably just gonna confess his involvement. But he definitely did not I do it. I came up with a plan after Mew asked me to meet up with her. She asked me pretty eagerly, too. So I decided to pry some info out of her. She gave me the rundown of the virtual world before she explained it to you guys. As I listened, I realized she was planning a murder. On me, no less. When I investigated the virtual world, I found out that a person can die from shock. Without a doubt, she planned to use that for my murder. So that's when I decided to prepare my own crime with her plan. I pretended to cooperate with her and lured everyone into the virtual world. That's also why I worked together with Monokuma. You worked together with Monokuma? <sighs> I guess the jig is up. Yeah, everything he said is true. Why would he work together with Kukichi you, though? She came to me with an idea to make the killing game more interesting. It was such a good idea. I decided to play some motive in the killing game simulator. You added a motive? Then the secret of the outside world is the motive, right? No fair. Monokuma can't take sides. I didn't help him with anything, and I had nothing to do with the murder itself. He merely suggested a way to spice up the killing game, and I accepted. Kokichi and I had a quid pro quo relationship. Technically, that doesn't violate the rules. Bullshit! No matter how you look at it, you guys are working together. Shh, calm down. Oh, I can my move the camera the while they're talking? My confession. I did not know that. I'm fine I just with accidentally that. did it. You're confessing without what much of a fight. That is random. <laughs> That's cool, though. I'm gonna get in the way by Are you pointing at him, Miko? Mystery solving fun. Are you pointing at me for? If I can't win this game, then I'll make it boring for everyone. That's my revenge. Well then, the culprit is Gonta. Nah. What? Is it? Huh? W what did you? Wait. When did Gonta kill Mew? Boy. That's a lie. He didn't kill her. Tokichi's just lying. Now you're trying to pin things on Gonta? If it's really Gonta. Do you really expect us to believe Didn't I say Gonta or Kibo? Lie? The main two suspects. If Kokichi's not lying, and this time I actually think that he's telling the truth, I had a feeling that it was going to be Gonta, but I didn't want to say it until I actually narrowed it down to Kibo and Gonta. Now I can actually see Gonta doing it. Yeah, they're 
There's no way Gonta could commit a murder this complicated. He's not smart. It's my turn now. I'm trying to think of how Gonta could do it. Unless he really is just playing dumb, but he's very intelligent. The truth is, Gonta and I work together. We formed a duo to end this killing game. Okay, now I think he's bullshitting again. I think he's on his bullshit. As the killing game busters! What busters? What we busters? We must win this killing Nut game busters. in order to end this killing game. What you mean, we? By the way, I came up with a murder plan. And Gonta carried it out. Gonta what? Why are you more surprised by that than the first thing he said? Hmm. It but sounds like a lie, but a convincing no lie. What he's talking about? Come on, quit lying and tell us the truth. Oh shit! Gonta is telling the truth. He's not someone who lies all the time like you. And no matter how naive Gonta may be, I doubt he would ever team up with Kokichi. Yeah, not after insect meet and greet incident. <laughs> it's obvious what he's trying to do. Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, so Kokichi's trying to trick him. He's trying to sacrifice Gonta to escape from his crime. Ah! You're a terrible person! How dare you use Gonta like that? You're right. I'm sorry. I did something horrible to Gonta. Wait, is it not Gonta? I didn't want Shuichi to hog all the glory, so I told everyone the truth. Cut that out. I told you it's not gonna work. See this face? Really, Don't Kokichi? You I could have pulled the really gonna be doing this to me? Out my commands? Bro, my asshole is itchy, like literally. I wanna scratch it. And I'm over here listening to your I bullshit, bro. Just impossible. It does matter. There's no need to bring emotions into class trials. All I'm just kidding, though. My asshole thinking. wasn't itchy. I'm a liar right, just like Kokichi. Shuichi? What? Um, going to not understand what's going on. But still, going to not kill Mew. Going to really not know anything. And also, going to not tell lies. And going to not make trouble for others. Cause that not how gentlemen act. That why going to not culprit. Yeah, Gonta's not lying. I can tell just by looking at him. I already used my magic to check. Gonta's definitely not lying. Then let me ask you guys. If it's not Gonta, then who's the culprit? You, of course! <laughs> Come on! There's already proof that I couldn't have killed Mew. There's already proof? Oh, did you forget already? Then let me make it clear again. Why I can't be the culprit! Is it because of that thing that Mew put on Kokichi? That little spell or that little cheat code? I think so, right? Let me see. What are the bullets that we are going to use? Mew's corpse, solar paper, Mew's avatar, setting on Kokichi's I am avatar. Not the I'm good. I'm too good. Didn't I prove that to you guys already? Like sometimes I want to kiss myself because I'm so good. How Mew is killed. All right, let's go, Kokichi. You got strangled to death, right? Toilet paper was the murder weapon. Wait, hold on. Let me see you setting on Kokichi's avatar. So, uh, the setting had a special setting. If Mew touched him, he would be unable to move. Yeah, there you go. Mew would have totally resisted okay. if she was being strangled. Let's do this, everybody. One take Jay's back in the building. For he as walked weak as in. Me. He's gonna one take Jay this. Walk out with style. Avatar. Watch this. That wouldn't matter if you strangled her from behind. Uh huh. In which case, even if she did resist, the most she could have done is merely touch the culprit. Exactly. She couldn't struggle much. So you could have kept strangling her. No problem. Nope. 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 No! I told you! Wrong. Stop playing with one take, Jay! I had enough of the disrespect! Actually, maybe it wasn't possible for Kokichi to strangle Mew. Yes. Why wasn't it possible? Fact check. Mew modified my avatar, so if she attacked me, I wouldn't be able to resist. If Mew touched me, then I'd be unable to move. Huh? <laughs> oh my so god. So I would have had to kill her instantly. <laughs> Such as stabbing or hitting. Bro, I'm sorry, but that's a cool ass drawing right I there. I couldn't have murdered her by strangulation because it'd be game over if she touched. I me. mean, it's messed up. I wouldn't personally hang it up on my wall because people would think that I'm a psychopath or something. But that's a cool looking drawing. I mean, you can't deny that, right? It has like this mixture of super messed up and super cute looking at the same time. Well, if you were using the toilet paper, you wouldn't need to touch her directly. But if you can't be touched while you're wrapping the toilet paper around her neck. 
then it would be impossible. Which means, as long as she died from strangulation, it couldn't have been me. Wait, what if it was something besides strangulation then? Or... Kaito wants it to be Kokichi so freaking There's bad. What no if it's you, Kaito? Strangled. We already discussed this. <laughs> Kaito is really desperate to make me the culprit. I still think that it's Gonta, no Kibo, or Sumugi. It, you can't change the truth. Gotta be one of those the three. The culprit who killed Mew is Gonta Gokuhara. This is the truth you all adore so much. No! Gonta not kill Mew! It's true! You gotta believe Gonta! Gonta would never hurt anyone! I believe you. You've been risking yourself to protect everyone. There's no way Gonta would kill! He won't even kill Bugs! I believe Gonta too. I'm not gonna listen to Kokichi's lies. I don't know what to believe right now. Uh, I'm so course. confused. Who'd believe a liar like him? He's lying about Gonta being the culprit, so there's no point talking about it. I don't know about that. If we want the truth, we might have to ask uncomfortable questions. Right, Shuichi? You think so too, don't you? Huh? I know how important it is to believe, but as the ultimate detective, I know we can't solve this case with belief alone. Huh? It's just that something doesn't add up. I have this feeling something's off. We can't keep going back and forth like this. We need to discuss this. What, you wanna suspect Gonta? Too bad, Kaito. Looks like Shuichi agrees with me. No, I'm not trying to... Oh, the irony! It's all thanks to Kaito that Shuichi got his act together as a detective. And now, Shuichi's intuition as a detective has made him more suspicious of others. Well, can't be helped. That's just what a detective does. That's not it, Kokichi. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone survi- Shuichi? Going to really not do it. Going to not culprit. I believe him and I don't believe him at the same time. Isn't that weird? Please. Leave Gonta. Oh. Poor well Gonta. I mean, even if he did do it, I'd forgive him. What? Because he just sounds so sad. He's like, oh, it's not Gonta. I swear it's not Gonta. As a precautionary measure, that's all. I think we need to seriously discuss whether Gonta was capable of committing this crime. Of course he was. Only then can we arrive at a logical decision. It's an animal instinct to kill, to survive. You guys. Why Animals kill all the time. That's just what Kokichi wants. Like coyotes eat rabbits. They kill because they need to survive. Gonto was probably just killing because he wanted to survive. He's just trying to split us up. Shuichi, open your he eyes. He saw the opportunity to survive and get out of this killing game, and he took it. B but... Two for one truth special. Sorry to ruin this tense moment, but you guys seem pretty... Okay, this is one of my favorite parts right now. now. Okay. It's impossible, it's possible. Okay, let's Shuichi, do this. are you saying that Gota is the culprit? Um, culprit. I got this. Damn it! I can't say for sure he's the culprit. Okay, I think I got it. I'm Just in time. I'm can't rule it out. But yeah, he's baby. Such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Could Gonta have even made it to the rooftop without being noticed? Rooftop. Kibo. The entrance hall is all that separates the rooftop from this the. This one's gonna be exterior. tough. This shit gonna be a fucky walkie. There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall. Entrance hall. I got this. No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma. Monokuma. Kokichi, I did cooperate with Monokuma, but only on a temporary basis. It's all a lie. Kokichi is the one who killed Kibo. Kokichi. That is impossible because Kokichi's avatar had special settings. Gonta not kill Mew. Honest. Mew. I got this. The truth is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. Yep. Like I said, animal instinct. Gonta is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. That, you like that? You like that? Hit that, hit that, hit that. Don't quit that. Come on, buddy. In my opinion, as long as it is possible that Gonta is the culprit, we have to discuss it. That's ridiculous. You're going to believe Kokichi over Gonta? That's not it at all. I just want the truth. If we're going to survive, I have to find the truth. What? Gonta telling truth. Gonta really not culprit. Aww. I still don't think Gonta's lying. 
But didn't I tell you guys already? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit. So is he trying to say that Gaunt is a liar? That's why it hurts my heart to persecute Gonta like this! Gonta, if you understand, then do it right. Make logical arguments for the truth. L logical arguments? It means use your head to make arguments. Use head? Oh my god. What Gonta? I'm trying to say is, if you aren't the culprit, then you gotta prove that you aren't! What? Gonta really not know? Ugh, I'm sick of hearing you say you don't know! God, why are you so dumb? Gonta just wanna help everyone! Like, true gentlemen! You're a true gentleman? More like a true nincompoop! <laughs> hey! Now that's just bullying! Bullying? Yeah, so what? That's what you do in this game, right? You guys blame and gang up on me, but now you're gonna pretend to be good people? No, I, I never ganged up. Gonta, argue back already! Just make an excuse or whatever! Stop I don't it. know why he That's won't. That's enough! Hmm? Huh? Stop what? You mean, stop the game? Hey, do you even know what you're saying? Yeah, I know. What about it? I don't want to survive if it means I have to stoop to your level. Oh, that's a low blow right there. Then just die in a hole for all I care! We want to live, so stop getting in our way! Wait. If you don't shut your mouth, then I'll shut it for you. Permanently. Moggy, please, calm down. Sorry. It Gonta's fault everyone's so upset. But Gonta telling truth! Gonta really not culprit! Cause... Gonta not know anything! Cut it out already! That's all you've been saying this whole time! You're the one that needs to cut it out! Wait, what did Kokichi say? All you've been saying this whole time. That's true about Gonta. This whole time, Gonta's been saying he doesn't know anything. Oh no, it really is Gonta then. Gonta not understand either. Mew like this when Gonta wake up. No. I told you, he was playing dumb way too long. Gonta was sleeping too. Had strange dream. Gonta not understand anything. Gonta not know. Murder already happened when Gonta wake up. But why did this happen? Why Mew killed? Gonta not understand. Gonta not understand anything. Aw, oh, shit. Ghost, Gonta have no idea what he's talking about. Didn't I mention that in the last episode? I was like, why does he never know? When exactly did he start using that defense? Gonta started saying, I don't know when, before logging into the virtual world. No, he wasn't saying anything like that before we logged in. Oh, okay. So it was after we logged in? After logging out. That's it? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so it really is Gonta. Holy shit. That's it. It was after he logged out. That means... Did Gonta get into an accident in the virtual world? Accident? The accident that hurt Gonta, that was... What? An accident? Oh, he got into an accident? Is it the Avatar error? This is it! Oh, it was. So it completely messed when his brain up. When we logged into the virtual world, an Avatar user error occurred. Some sort of Avatar user error occurred when you all logged in for the first time. An error? The contents of the error are unknown, so I can't provide any details. But something strange definitely happened to someone's avatar when you all logged in. Okay, so it was Gonta's. Avatar so he killed error? Mew and then he didn't realize what happened? Or did somebody control him and killed Mew for himself? Ever since Gonta logged out, he's been saying, I don't know, I don't understand. He's been saying That's that way too Gonta much. Doesn't understand the Tired of that world, shit, Gonta. Right? That's what I thought at first. But I think it's because of the error. What you mean? What you mean? I don't understand. <laughs> if that error is what's affecting Gonta, and it's making him forgetful and loopy, then what was the error? What could it have been? Hangman's Gambit again? Bro, we've been doing way too much of this Hangman's Gambit shit. It's gotta be amnesia, right? Let me see. No, memory loss. M, E, as in everybody knew that it was memory loss. M as in man I knew it was memory loss. 
Oh, as in, oh my god, are you serious? It's memory loss? R as in, are you gonna tell him that it's memory loss? Y as in, why not tell him that it's memory loss? And L as in, let's go tell Gonta that it's memory loss. I'm sorry. I believe it's possible that Gonta doesn't remember what happened in the virtual world. Huh? He doesn't remember? You started saying, I don't know anything, after leaving the virtual world. I think that's the result of some kind of memory error. Oh, that's why he doesn't remember anything that happened in the virtual world. Not even killing Mew. What? That's ridiculous! Quit screwing around! Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous! What do you mean he doesn't remember? He's just confused! Gonzo told us he was bad with computers, remember? Memory or no memory, Gonta never hurt anyone. No way, Gonta's the culprit. Ah oh, shit! This one always gets me messed up because there's so much stuff going on. Okay, mass panic, bro. I'm the one mass panicking whenever this mass panic starts. Log in, log out record. These avatars setting up Kukichi's device instructions. Okay, that must be it. Okay, get that out of here. No, 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 that can't be it. Get that out of there. Come on, Jay. I know it's device instructions. Okay, shoot that. Nope, that wasn't it. Okay. Shoot that, shoot that, shoot that, shoot that, and ba BAM! Okay, that was easier than I thought. Mass panic my ass. Mass panic, my the pale ass cheeks! affected Gonta's avatar. Is the two cords on the helmet used to log into the virtual world? Yeah, let's go back and see if those things are plugged in correctly. Then we can know if that thing fried his brain like an egg. Put the red consciousness cord in the right port and the blue memory cord in the left. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know. I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. I think that Gonta messed up something with the cords causing the error. If he mixed the consciousness and memory cords, then there'd be an error with memory. How did Kokichi know that Gonta killed her? Like, an error that won't let you bring your avatar's memories to the real world? What? Gonta, do you think it's possible that you improperly connected the cords? Huh? How Gonta supposed to remember that? He, he couldn't have messed it up. I said it over and over. Right is the hand you hold your chopsticks in. I use my left hand for chopsticks. Oh, but Gonta hold chopsticks with this Shout hand. Shout out left-handed chopstick gang. Uh, that's your left hand! What? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's decided. Well, I mean, just because it glitched out and then he had the user error doesn't mean that there's proof that he killed Mew. What? Decided. I don't He's mean wrong, anything. Isn't he, Gonta? You remember the virtual world, don't you? G going to not remember. Going to not even go to this virtual world place. What? Going to fall asleep when he put helmet on. When going to wake up, Mew dead. Going to not know what happened. Oh shit, so he didn't even go with them? Then who was that avatar that was chilling over there? So, going to worry. There was a Gonta avatar, Gonta I saw it. understand what everyone talking about. What the hell? No, it can't be. But Gonta try his best to understand. Gonta imagine real hard. That's enough, Gonta. We already know. N know what? We know that you totally forgot about teaming up with me and killing Mew. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. That lie. Gonta not kill Mew. Because why would Gonta do that? I don't know, because you're sick. Yeah, it's a lie. I'll never accept this. And besides, Gonta's got no motive to kill Mew. I already gave you my testimony on how I came up with the murder plan. And I'm saying I don't believe you! Kokichi, if what you're saying is true, why did you plan it this way? You wanted to plan the murder yourself, but have someone else carry it out? Is the person who planned it also included as a blackened with the perpetrator? Nope! Only the person who actually commits the murder becomes the blackened! Then there's no incentive to just plan the murder. But Gonta is such a gentle soul. Why would he agree to this? Hold on! That hasn't been decided yet! Who cares about the motive? Let's vote for the culprit already! I care about the motive! Well, I don't care. Finding the culprit is more important in this class trial. 
Talking about the motive is meaningless. It's not necessary for this specific case. No matter what you say, I'll never believe your lies. We all agree that Gonta is the culprit, right? It would be impossible for anyone but him. That's not true. Impossible? Why? It's pretty obvious if you use the process of elimination. Which means, Shuichi, you'll be my partner, right? That's what I do whenever I try to narrow it down. I just use the process of elimination. That's why I said because Gonta or Kibo. It's truth, gotta be one of them we'll die, right? And I guess that I'm right. And you don't want that, do you? Okay, let's begin! Quit screwing around! I'm done putting up with your selfish bullshit! Kaito, we should listen to his explanation. Our lives depend on it. Alright, everybody, I just want to say something before we continue this class trial. I know it seems like no time has passed between this sentence and me talking right now. But in reality, it's been an hour because I've been yawning this whole recording. I don't know what it was. I started the recording and then I got really tired because I've been exhausted all day. And I apologize for that. You guys don't deserve that. And I ended up taking like a quick 30-minute nap and it took me like a few minutes to wake up. I ended up getting a drink of water and now I feel good to go. So we're going to end this episode really strong. I apologize for like the lack of energy throughout the video, but I promise you all that we're going to end it strong. So let's do this. Let's really do this. So we can now take Keyboy, Himiko, and Maki off the suspect list. Shuichi, would you care to explain? I doubt they'll believe it if it came from me. The reason Kibo, Himiko, and Maki can be eliminated as suspects is because they didn't have the murder weapon. They couldn't access the crime scene. Is that what it is? I told you. See? A nap does the body good. A nap does scene, wonders for the they? human mind. The bridge from the chapel to the mansion was gone, and only Miu could pass through the wall. See, that's why I had to take a nap, because my sleepy ass could not think. The three now, at the chapel had who? no way to get to the now mansion, you're so on they Jazz couldn't thing, have done it. You know, he talking out of my ass, I'm be like... <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's Kaito go, Jay. Was the next one off our suspect list. And you know why, right? Because he got logged out. The reason why Kaito isn't a suspect, he got logged out. I told you, sleep does a body good! Damn, I should be Kaito sleeping all the time! Okay, us. wait, if I'm sleeping all the time, that means I'm not alive. Okay, you know what? Let's not even go too deep into that. Let's Mew not go too deep into Kaito that. Kaito out from the start. But she did that to make us think the murder happened in the real world, right? Right. Since we figured out the actual killing happened in the virtual world, it would have been impossible for Kaito, who had already logged out. Mew's time of death was around 6.30 in the morning. That's after Kaito logged out. Okay, that's correct. So if it's not Kibo, then it has to be Gonta, because I told you all that it was either Gonta or Kibo. So it's Gonta. My synergy with Shuichi is super on point now, so let's move on to the remaining suspects. Gonta, Samugi, Shuichi, and me. Samugi and Shuichi can be crossed off. But what's the reason for that? The reason why Samugi and I can't be the culprit is... We didn't go to the roof, we have solid alibis, we saw Mew. We didn't go to the roof? Aw, oh, shit! Maybe I should've got some more sleep. See, my sleepy ass should've gotten a couple more minutes of nap time. I think it's because we have solid alibis. Yeah, there you go. Tumugi and I are witnesses to each other's alibis. Both of you heard Mew hitting the chapel wall, right? The culprit was definitely on the roof during that time, since they slid Mew down. Because of that, Shuichi and Samugi can't be the culprit. That leaves only Gonta and me as the remaining suspects. Then you're the culprit! Sorry for getting your hopes up, but didn't I already explain that's impossible? The reason why Kokichi can't be the culprit is... Kokichi, um, was Mew's target. Kokichi was Mew's target. Mother sucker, bro! What the hell? He couldn't have killed Mew? That's the answer? That's not even a fact. That's just like, oh, he couldn't have killed her. That's just an opinion. Him, he'd freeze in place. Kokichi wasn't capable of strangling her. Well, I mean, when you put it that way, of course that's the answer. I knew that was the answer, but it was like, oh, he couldn't have killed her because he just couldn't so have. Then it's down to you know what I mean? Person. Like, that sentence didn't make sense and when I read it out loud in my head. who was that again? <laughs> I feel really bad for Gonta, though. Well, I'm not even going to lie. He killed somebody, and he can't even remember it. Don't answer, Shuichi. You don't need to answer Dude, that. that is so sad. This is all Kokichi's trap. There's only one suspect left. Only one person who could have done this. 
So it really is Gonta. Dude, that is so sad. He doesn't even remember killing Mew. It's like he was forced to kill her by Kokichi. Bro, if anything, the mastermind should it's, be the one who gets punished the most. They're the ones who Gonta. thought of it. The other one is basically like a weapon. Gonta is a weapon. Like, the real killer oh, is the person Shuichi. who thought of it, and a weapon is just a weapon. Yep. Gonta is the only person who could have committed the murder. That sucks. Weapons don't kill you people. Now, people right? use weapons to kill. There's That's a difference. That's the truth we were all reaching for. The thing you guys wanted so badly, a truth without any lies. New Iruma's killer is Gonta Goku Hara. Damn. Yikes. Really? <laughs> kind of gives me the chills. Really do it? Because he's so innocent. Is that really and I thought he was just playing you? dumb, but it something actually happened to his brain where he can't remember. But you forgot everything. So, oh well. A culprit who can't remember their murder is pretty interesting. So, better than nothing. If Gonta remembered, his cover would have been blown so fast. Especially since he's an idiot. Come on, Kokichi. How are you going to kick a man when he's already down? Hold on. I, I still haven't accepted this. This has got to be Kokichi's trap. I still believe in Gonta. He's not the kind of person who'd kill. Kaito. I already said this a million times, Kaito. You shouldn't use emotions You want proof? I've got your proof. All right, let's see it then, Kaito. Let's see that big proof. After Sumugi and Shuichi heard Kibo's voice in the mansion, they ran outside. And who did they see out there? We saw Gonta, yeah. Oh, Shuichi and Sumuki. Gonta, did you see Kibo around here anywhere? No, Gonta not see him. It's not Kibo, it's Gonta. Gonta, Gonta was chilling after he oh, killed somebody. He said it himself. When Mew's avatar crashed into the chapel wall, the culprit must have been on the roof. I see. If Gonta's the culprit, it'd be weird if he wasn't on the roof. Maybe he jumped off the roof. It's possible that he fled the mansion after he heard the impact. You'd have to go through the entrance hall to get outside the mansion from the roof. Maybe he jumped off the mansion roof because you can't get hurt in the virtual world, and then he just walked around the corner like da 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 da, like I was there the whole time. I was never on the roof. Is I mean, that, that would have been easily played off. When they heard the crashing sound? Come on now. Uh, maybe he jumped off the roof. Exactly. See, me and Kokichi, we're like-minded. Possible. That rooftop was pretty high up. Yeah, but you can't get hurt in the virtual world. So it doesn't matter how high up you are, you can't get hurt. Normally, Gota could have done it, but his avatar wasn't strong enough. That doesn't even mean How about shit? that? Now you get it, right? If Gota was the culprit, there's no way he could have been outside the mansion. Now you can't say Gonta's the culprit. Congrats, Gonta. What? Really? Da -da -da. Oh, you know when the ultimate detective got those dot dot dots, you know it's over for you. It would have been so nice if that were the truth. If Kaito were right, and this horrible trial would just end. But... No, that's wrong. What? Just because Gonta was at the mansion, doesn't mean that he isn't the culprit. All the culprit needed was a way to get from the roof to outside the mansion. The toilet paper. Huh? Used it like a rope. <laughs> there was toilet paper Looks on the like side of the mansion, that's where he jumped I'll off from. The rest to him. Come on, stop playing with your boy. Stop playing with me, everybody. Kaito, I know how you feel. I know because we all feel it. Didn't I tell you all I'm the Danganronpa master? But you think that's just talk? We have to face the truth. It's just all talk. I'm not no the Danganronpa master. Cool that truth may be, we need to face it. I wish I was to though. Survive. At least Who's I'm safe inside my mind. Shuichi? Kaito, please. He's on the side of justice, dude. Aren't you my sidekick? Was that just a lie? Kaito. Fine then. I'll tear that sorry reasoning of yours apart and wake you up. All right. Oh, wake me up. Well, what were you 30 minutes ago when I took my nap? I can't doubt my detective work now. If I want us all to survive, I can't back down. All right, time to clap my side, bitch. What the hell is this? Bro, got an alien with cheeks just chilling right there? Okay, the final blow. Damn, that was actually There's pretty no easy. Way to leave the mansion um, from the rooftop. Toilet paper discovered outside a mansion. Let's go! Got that shit in one try. The hell? That didn't mean I had to take a shirt off. The hell, Kaito? I think he took that off on his own free will. In a way, shirt come off just because I got that shit in one try. But yeah, the toilet That's paper. I told you. Use to that the thing like a rope. Because toilet paper can't be broken paper? in the virtual world. 
the same toilet paper that was used as the murder weapon. Right, everybody? Right, That's ladies why and gentlemen? Find it anywhere else. Not at the scene of the crime, nor on Mew's body. So he yeeted Mew off the roof, used that toilet paper like a rope, just brought his big ass down, and then walked around the corner like shit was, was sweet, and he didn't even do mansion. anything. And now that we know that Gaunt is the Hold culprit, that shit's actually the toilet paper as a rope to get down from the roof, then they need to tie it to something. But there was nothing to tie it to. I know because I investigated the roof. You're stubborn, Kaito. You're still going on about this. Of course I am. I'm gonna believe in Gota till the very end. Even when no, facts are slapping you right in the, the face, paper you really are a side bitch. What? Yes, the place where the toilet paper was tied down. I don't even know where. Oh. There. <laughs> Does the truth feel time. good, Kaito? The toilet paper could have been tied there. Does it? How does it taste? Yeah, see, anybody could have figured that part out. I don't think the culprit it was hanging right tied there. Down there. They just hung it. Yup. So he tied that, and, and he, he said, "Lay them on the suckers." Toilet paper to climb down, but in that case, they would have had to tug on it in order to take it down. Yep, that's correct. Cause I came up with that idea. But I thought I told Gonta to put the toilet paper back in the bathroom. Oh. I guess he ran into someone on the way and then threw it somewhere close by. So he did know what he was doing. And he's just playing dumb that he didn't know? I guess. Huh. Interesting. He could have gone back for it later, right? Before the investigation? I guess not. <laughs> Looks like Kaito's morale is shot, so this whole thing is done now. The matter does appear to be settled. That... it's... So... it's true. Going to really kill Mew. Sad to say it had to be you, buddy. But I'm the one who came up with the plan! Anyway... just to make your crime, Gonta. Even though you don't remember, you still did it. Why would he admit to something he can't even remember doing? But... why did Gonta do such... Terrible thing. Oh, poor guy. Wait, before you start crying, you gotta admit your crime for Stop. I won't let you, Kokichi. If anyone is gonna get him to confess, it's me. Why you? Gonta, I'm going to look back at the whole yes. case one more time, okay? My favorite part. When you're convinced, you just let me know, alright? Let's end this together. <laughs> I mean, it's my favorite part, but it's the saddest part because it's happening to Gonta. Okay. Aww. He's the first character that I liked in this game. Remember when I started this game, I was like, oh, I like Gonta. Okay, let's do this. So, what's the first one we're gonna choose? Well, I guess we'll just look through this. What color cord did the culprit stick in the right ports? Okay, let's see if we got that. No, we don't got that? Okay. What did Mew bring from Shuichi's lab? The poison. The poi poi. But I guess the poi poi is not there. What was posted in the entrance hall of the mansion in the virtual world? The map. Yes, sir. See, this shit, way too easy. What did Mew do when the others left for the mansion? What did she do? What did she do? Oh, she took away the board. Okay, but that's not it yet. Who was investigating the roof? Um, give me one second. Oh, wait, the bottle of poison was there. Hold on. What did Mew bring? Brought the bottle of Poi Poi, of course. What did Mew do when the others left for the mansion? I know that she moved the board, but it's not there yet. So let's go over here. Who's investigating the dining hall? Your mom. What object did Mew use when she got to the mansion? She used this. Yeah! I told you I'm on one today. Who was logged out against their will? It was my main man, Kaito. Okay, what was a weapon Mew brought to kill Kokichi? The hammer. But the hammer's not there. What did the culprit use to strangle Mew? Is there toilet paper? You got toilet paper there? Yeah, toilet paper that doesn't tear. Can we unlock the other ones, please? Good lord. To move the body off the roof, what was taken out of the storage room? The lattice, of course. 
And can I unlock some of the others? Mew smuggles in a hammer, which should be right over here. Give me some of that. Okay. And then I'm going to unlock you through the signboard into the river right there. Dude, I am on one right now. I'm not getting anything wrong. And let me see what the other ones are. This is Sumugi Shirogane looking for the secret of the outside world. Okay, she was the one who was in the dining hall, right? Okay. And then the culprit looking for the secret of the outside world. I don't know. The binoculars and the toilet paper. Blue cord on the right, red cord on the left is right here. Okay. And then what else? What else is a question mark? Right here. How did the culprit escape from the roof? The toilet paper, of course. And then the last one we gotta fill in is the one with a bunch of question marks. Who was investigating the roof? Kaito Momota, right? And then who's this one? Shuichi Sahara was investigating the kitchen. And of course, the culprit was investigating outside the mansion. Oh my this god! The truth of the I one take Jade that. No edits. Well, actually, I think there was an edit the because I stumbled on my words. Night. But you know what I mean. After I killed that. Convinced by Mew, we all logged in to the virtual world. Like I should be the black end because I killed that shit. To log in, you have to plug the memory and consciousness cords into the device. Love this music every single time. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, so uh, we all plugged those cords into our helmets and entered the virtual world. Yeah, we did. And then Gonta's the one that messed up. That's why his but brain got fried. Had accidentally or even more fried than it already was. Wrong ports. Because of this, a connection error occurred between the culprit's brain and their avatar. As a result, the culprit would forget everything that happened in the virtual world. It's possible that this had an effect on their avatar's personality as well. Is the black and flicking us off right now? Because I, bro, that's a subtle. I can't believe that some little subtle some one right there could commit murder. But we had no idea this error even happened, and so we all logged in one by one. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Mew was the last to log in. She had modified the killing game simulator so she could accomplish a specific goal. After Mew confirmed we were all logged in, she took out the bottle of poison and placed it on Kokichi's seat. She tried to frame him. This was done to make it look like Kokichi was killed by poison when we returned. Why the hell would he do that while he has the visor thing on? Yes. It's so stupid. The reason you modified the simulator and brought us to the virtual world was to kill Kokichi in the virtual world, but make it look like he had died in the real world. Mew was such a useful character. I feel like one of the most useless characters After was Samugi. In, and Himiko, kind of. The world to us. Because their talents are use pretty useless or underutilized in this game. Objects are unbreakable. Your avatars use all five senses. Actually, Kaito's power is useless too, his talent. She also explained the map of the virtual world in the mansion's entrance hall. But her explanation was intentionally false. She wanted us to misunderstand the world. Mm -hmm. However, one of us was able to see through her scheme. Yeah, we were. Who was that again? Oh, it was Kokichi, yeah, duh. The very person Mew was trying to kill, Kokichi. Kokichi was going to use Mew's plan against her and plotted her murder. Those little avatars are so cute. But Kokichi <laughs> wouldn't do it himself. He Look like little toys that I would be down to collect. This case. Kokichi was tight-lipped about the motive, so I don't know why the culprit agreed. But it seems as though right after logging in, when Kokichi and the culprit went outside, they were already working together to execute the murder. Eventually, we met up with Kokichi and crossed the river to the chapel. Mew had us split up to try to find some secret of the outside world. I thought that was such a BS excuse too, like secret of the outside world? Kaito, Kokichi, Why would you try to find Tsumugi that? And Obviously I you can't get investigated out. Investigated the mansion, while Maki, Himiko, Kibo, and Mew investigated the chapel. Mm -hmm. Splitting us up was also part of Mew's plan. Well, if she wanted to kill somebody, it would be obvious that it was her. 
Because it was her plan for everybody to go into the virtual world. She was going to look around outside. So if anybody died besides her, she would have been prime suspect numero uno. She chased after our group while we were heading toward the mansion. Like, look at that. If anybody else died besides Kokichi, people would have remembered that she did that. Once she made sure we were across, she dropped the bridge into the river. Because she was acting sus the entire this time. This to trick us into thinking that the river separated the mansion and chapel. She would have got blackened real quick. At the time, we thought nothing of it. It was just another one of Mew's pranks. Mew's pranks? Really, Shuichi? Why, why would you prank that? that? That's not even a good prank. That's just being an asshole. That's why we continued with the original plan to find the secret of the outside world. Well, I guess you could argue that doing a prank makes you an asshole. We went to the you're doing something messed up. up to look for clues. They're just saying, it's just a prank, man. I, I swear, it's just a prank. I'm like, ha ha. Kokichi searched the salon. I don't know. No prank ever made me laugh. Kaito searched the roof. Just made me more mad. Tsumugi searched the dining room. I love I this art style right here. I love the way that they made them in the virtual world. So cool. And finally, the culprit searched outside the mansion. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, Around that time, mm -mm, mm -mm, Mew was headed for the wall mm -mm, that was on the side of the chapel. She passed through the wall and headed for the mansion to kill Kokichi. You see, the wall was a special wall that Mew had added herself. This wall was programmed so that only objects could pass through. And Mew had changed her avatar settings from human to object. Yeah, because only objects can do that. Humans can't do that. That was the hidden route she prepared for herself. See, so that would have made her the blackened right away. People would have seen that she did that to her settings on her avatar. And it just would have been a clean case. Like, there would be no arguing that she was the one who killed whoever died if she wasn't the one who died. Does that make sense? Like, she really didn't think this out thoroughly. Mew headed toward the mansion, but she was seen by Tsumugi on the way. But obviously, if it was obvious that she did it, it would have been a boring case, so it had to be her when that died. When she entered the mansion, she pulled out her cell phone. She didn't tell us that there was another way to log out. Then, she spoke a name into the phone, which forced that person to log out. It was Kaito who was on the roof at the time. Yeah, she was trying the to frame same Kaito. Roof where Kokichi and Mew were going to meet. By having Kaito search the roof and then forcing <laughs> him to log out. The way he's making him look the most suspicious. But her plan didn't go smoothly. Not at all. That plan was more rocky than the mountains. Yeah, little did she know that somebody else was planning a murder against her. Kokichi's Kokichi the smartest person in the room the at all times. Culprit and the toilet paper used to kill Mew. He planned to kill Mew and wasn't the actual hands that killed Mew. That's boss level shit. That's pro level strats. While Mew was distracted by Kokichi, the culprit snuck up from behind and used the toilet paper from the mansion's bathroom to strangle Mew. This was only possible because objects in the virtual world are unbreakable. I still don't understand why Gonta agreed to do this. Was he being mind controlled by Kokichi? Was that even explained? Mew's avatar was strangled to death and the shock killed Mew in the real world. Or did him putting like the settings in his headset wrongly make him just want to kill? Just made him do the opposite. Like it felt like opposite day or some shit. After the murder, Kokichi left the cleanup to the culprit and left the roof. I guess when you he glitch out, it makes you want to kill. As soon as he could, makes you horny for some kills. Suspicion. The culprit then took the lattice from the storage room and placed Mew's body on top, along with the hammer and the cell phone. And then he said, "Yo, yeah." The culprit heaved <laughs> the lattice over the railing and forcefully slid it down the roof slope. That actually looks dope, though. Like I would never try that for fun, but it actually looks cool. Just sliding at that kind with of speed. The body on top of it. The lattice became a makeshift sled and flew off the roof. And by the way, just because I said that, don't try that at home. Probably going to end up just like Mew. Just like that. It went through the wall that only objects can pass through before crashing into the chapel. That was the crashing sound that Kibo heard in the chapel and we heard in the mansion. Kibo. Mew's wall hid the fact that the mansion and chapel were actually right next to each other. That's why Tsumugi and I were able to hear the crash from the mansion. As the final step, the culprit had to then get off the roof. Because we were at the mansion, 
They couldn't take the stairs or they'd be seen. So they used the toilet paper again to escape from the rooftop. <laughs> Looking like a little baby sliding down. <laughs> like some boss and baby shit. Like a rope to climb down. <laughs> Look at that cute little black end. <laughs> Once the culprit was safely on the ground, they pulled at the toilet paper to retrieve it. <laughs> I can't get over that. Would have returned little baby bathroom, black and sliding down the roof. They ran into us as we were leaving the mansion. Are you kidding me? That in was so panic, stupid that he threw the it over there. Tossed the toilet paper somewhere nearby. Should have thrown it in the river. Wasn't it close by or nah? Nah, it, it wasn't close by. Never mind. Without that one little mistake, we might never have solved this case because the culprit doesn't remember. Exactly, exactly. That was a fatal mistake. Poor Gonta. This is the truth you've forgotten, Gonta Gokuhara. The ultimate entomologist. I was kind of hoping that if it was Gonta, he'd reveal like another personality. Where he's like, "You caught me, yes, I Gonta killed this me. This is you. the truth, we and heard. I did it on purpose." But Gonta doesn't remember, so it makes it even ten Sorry. times sadder. Gonta not really understand. Oh. Gonta not smart boy. But if everyone agree, then everyone probably right. Gonta, trust everyone. Oh, that's actually so sad. Gonta. Poor Gonta. But why? Gonta kill Mew. Gonta making everything. me want to cry. Gonta even think he not do anything bad. And then Gonta tried to blame someone else and make everyone suffer. Why? Why Gonta do such terrible thing? It's okay, you don't even remember, big guy. Gonta, it's not your fault. It's Kokichi's fault. He must have tricked Gonta. I guess we'll never know, huh? huh? I totally didn't trick him. Before we go into that, it's voting time. We should finish up the class trial first. But is this the right answer? We're not being fooled by Kokichi? For once, I wish that we were. Wrapping things up already? What do you mean already? This was like a two and a half hour trial. If you combine hmm, both episodes. What a buzzkill of an ending. It lacks the rush of previous voting times. Well, after so many killing games, I guess it was bound to happen eventually. It's just as well. This killing game is a bad influence on the baby. Oh yeah, oh, probably one of the bears come. are gonna die too. It's been like that every trial. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be the girl. Yeah! I gotta get my act together for the baby. Yeah, do it for the baby! Do it for your baby! Now then, pull yourselves together and let's begin! <sighs> the heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off! It's voting time! That's such a tough situation to be in, especially because Kokichi is the mastermind behind everything. In any type of, like, law thing or trial, usually the mastermind, the person who's behind everything, is the one who gets the harsher punishment. So the fact that Kokichi planned it all, and then Gonta was used as a weapon, doesn't make sense that Kokichi's not gonna be the blackened. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. I think if you're used as a weapon, whoever's the one who was planning to kill somebody should be the one who's punished. Well, look at that! You voted correctly! Congratulations, you guys! Give yourselves a hand! Voices. Let me hear your joyful voices! <laughs> let me hear I said, let me hear your joyful voices! Damn, Damn it! Why? Wow. Jeez, they're all just moping around. They should be happy for themselves. <laughs> I know I'm super happy. Hey, what should we name the kid? Mm -hmm. Good question. We should prepare six names. Yay. What? We're having sex tuplets? I'm so happy I might go crazy! Hey, Kokichi, you said this would liven things up. What gives, huh? Here. You said you were gonna liven up the killing game in the class trial. And I said I'd put the motive, the secret of the outside world, into the killing game simulator. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that was just a lie. Oh. oh, so it's just a lie. What was that? He just laughed it off. Hey. Are you satisfied, Kokichi? I want you to tell us. What is the outside world? Is it the motive you give Gonta? I plan to explain all of that, but it's more like, how do I say it? 
You guys are just gonna assume it's a lie if you hear it from my cute lips. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Then let's have Gonta explain. Huh? huh? Gonta? Please stop! Gonta doesn't remember anything. How can you expect him to? All then right. we should all go back into the killing game simulator. Huh? What? Because... Why don't we ask the Gonta in the virtual world? But... But going back to the virtual world is... <laughs> there's a much easier way than that pain in the ass method. Gonta's memories didn't transfer over. So, they're still in the virtual world as data. I can combine Gonta's consciousness from his last login with that leftover memory data. All right, cool. That would be sweet. Thank you. Ta -da! Alter Ego, Alter Ego Gonta. Gonta? Complete. Alter Ego? Basically, it's a separate Gonta that only exists in virtual space. If we listen to what he says, we should be able to find out what happened in that world. Interesting. Huh? What this? What happening? Huh? Is this Gonta? Huh? Is that Gonta? What's that mean? What sort of phenomenon is this? What did you do? Hey, um... Relax, Himiko. It's not magic, and it's not a trick. Alter Ego Gonta is just a computer simulation. It's just imitating Gonta's thought patterns. It's actually different from the real Gonta. Um... Gonta not understand. Who's this Alter Ego person? Now then. See? It's even stupid like the real Gonta. You can hardly tell the difference. Plus, he's got Gonta's memories of the virtual world, so he should remember what happened. Please, then other Gonta... Tell Gonta. Why? Why? Why did Gonta kill Mew? Huh? Kill Mew? Why does other Gonta know about? Oh, man. Unfortunately, our plan failed. You can tell them the truth now. Oh. Gonta. Then Gonta no could save everyone? Huh? Save everyone? Gonta don't know. Hey, answer Gonta. Why did Gonta kill Mew? Wrong. Gonta just want to save everyone. He wanted to save everyone. That's... Gonta, what do you mean? Gonta... Gonta think for a long time. How can Gonta be useful for everyone? Gonta not smart enough to help with trials. Gonta strong, but no can fight exesils. Um... Gonta feel frustrated, because Gonta no could do anything. <sighs> Gonta understand how this Gonta feels. Yeah. Technically, they are the same person. But... So that's why Gonta think he have to do it for everyone's sake. Gonta think he gotta do it because everyone else not want to. Gonta. So Gonta kill me, you. What? What do you mean by that? I don't get it at all. Oof. Jeez, Gonta is bad at explaining as always. I guess I'll have to help. Um... So if you remember what happened at the time. No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening. Yoink. I'll take that card key then. Kokichi used his lithe body to his advantage, and it took the card key from Monokuma. Huh? The card key. So you used it. Yeah. After working tirelessly, I finally found the door for the card key. After opening it, I saw the outside world. What? The outside world. What? That was Monokuma's motive? But why would seeing the outside world be a motive? Hmm. I'll tell you guys in a second, but that's when I found out about Mew's plan. <laughs> and it hit me. If I combine the two, then I'd be able to save everyone. Please wait. Save everyone? What do you mean? Hey, hey. Hey, now, you gotta listen to everything I say first. Um... Anyways, that's when I made a deal with Monokuma. If I liven up the killing game, <laughs> then he would let me use the outside world as a motive again. Huh? Again. In other words... Let me chime in. The motive key card that Kokichi nabbed was the right to view the outside world. But even though he saw the outside world, he didn't try to use it for the killing game. That disappointed me, but then Kokichi suggested that we reuse the motive. Yeah. He yeah. said we should bring back the right to view the outside world one more time. And I decided to run with that idea. So I loaded a flashback light with memories of the outside world and put it in the simulation. Huh? Memories of the outside world? In the flashback light? What? The secret of the outside world in the virtual world was about the flashback light? You know. And if it was the flashback light... It would mean the secret of the outside world is part of our forgotten memories. Huh? What are you saying? Wait! But why would anything about the outside world be a motive in the first place? Incomprehensible. What's going on here? Oh? Huh? You can't remember? 
Okay, fine. You get it? Let's talk about the motive later. We have to finish up this case first. Mm. Monokuma hid the flashback light in the simulator, but I knew where it was hidden. And I showed it to Gonta in the virtual world. Hey! Hey! You even knew where it was hidden? That's not fair! To tell you the well, truth. I just placed it. I never actually said I hid it. Too bad. If anyone had asked, I would have gladly told you where it was. <laughs> it's a little late for that! So Gonta was exposed to the flashback light. Um. Yeah, when Kokichi and Gonta leave together. But Gonta can watch Kokichi so he not do anything weird. Gonta, you're so sweet, but I knew you'd say that. Even without your ridiculous physical strength, as long as you're selfless and courageous, you'd make a terrific bodyguard. Bodyguard? With you by my side, I know I'll be safe from any trap. Okay then, let's go! Oh, wait! Kokichi! It's okay. Leave it to Gonta. Gonta keep eye on Kokichi. Could it be? Was Kokichi trying to lure Gonta off by himself? Maybe. The only person I entrusted with the secret of the outside world was Gonta. Gonta. After that, Gonta got taken to forest near mansion. Is this flashback light? It looks like it. Maybe the secret of the outside world is hidden in it. We gotta tell everyone. Wait! Are you sure you want to believe a liar like me so easily? Huh? This might be a trap, you know. Shouldn't you check if I'm lying first? I mean, you want to protect everyone, right? This is the perfect time to do it. Protect everyone? Oh my god, he did it real quick, too. <laughs> Shine that shit oh, right in his eyes. Happen. And they're going to remember Secret of Outside World. But that... Just confused Gonta more about what to do. <laughs> what could Gonta do to save everyone? Gonta no could think of anything. <laughs> so I told him. If he wants to save everyone, he should put everyone out of their misery. In other words, a mercy kill. What did you say? What? No way. Was Gonta tricked? Yeah, you were, buddy, and it's the saddest shit ever. No, you not tricked. Oh, it wasn't? Okay, my bad, alter ego Gonta. Because when Gonta remembers Secret of Outside World, Gonta think <laughs> it would be easier... To die. <gasps> what? Um... Remember what everyone said at the beginning? That this academy is hell? <laughs> Going to agree. Academy that forced students to be part of killing game is hell. So everyone think they want to escape this place, right? But if it's still hell outside, what do we do? Huh? What do you mean, Gonta? <laughs> Inside is hell. Outside is hell. What should Gonta and friends live for? How and everyone happen? who died, what did they die for? It's hell outside. And hell inside. But... And then, Kokichi tell me... Best way to save everyone from hell... Is to put them out of misery while they still not know. And only one who could do such dirty work... Is Gonta. Yeah... That's right. The only way you can save everyone is to free them from this hell. Gonta took on the dirty work for us. If he had survived the class trial... He would have lived in this hell alone. You get it? Gonta took on that role for us. Shouldn't we appreciate him more? Hold on! Wait a minute! I still don't get what's happening! Um... What outside world are you talking about? It's hell out there? What do you mean? What did Kokichi and Gonta see? What did... we forget? Hey! Hurry up and tell us, or else we won't be able to understand it. Right? Gonta, what pushed you to do such a thing? Please... Answer, Gonta! Sorry! Sorry, Gonta no can tell you! Why? Can't tell us why! <laughs> because if Gonta tell you then, everyone will end up like Gonta. Everyone. Despair. I, I know it. A despair that makes you want to die. A despair that makes you want to put everyone out of their misery. Did you think the kind Gonta would tell you about such despair from his own mouth? But... But now we don't know any more than when we started. <sighs> now you know how Gonta and I formed the Killing Game Busters, right? Then, can't you accept everything about this case? You can't imagine the rest, right? I used Mew's plan and turned it against her. I hid Gonta away from sight. Where Mew and I were supposed to meet. Huh? Kaito's not here? Yeah, you're right. Oh man, I'm honored you asked me to meet up with you, Mew. Is this a booty call? <laughs> or are you here trying to kill me? So, you figured it out. But there's nothing you can do. You can't resist me. I made sure of it when I programmed your settings. Uh-oh, guess I'm in trouble now! I'm sorry, but you should just give up. This is my only chance. I have no choice but to do this. 
My inventions will change the world. They'll make the world a better place. It's my duty as a genius inventor, so I can't afford to die here. Yes, you can. Yank! Sorry! Gone to so sorry! He locked the door. Don't be sorry, Gonta. She was trying to kill me, too. She said it was for the world or whatever, but that was just a poor excuse. We're doing this to stop the vicious cycle of misery, so you don't need to apologize. She died just like that? But... But... Gone to sorry! Gone to so sorry, Mew! I already said you don't need to apologize. We had to do this for everyone's sake. How did nobody hear him when he said sorry on the top of the roof? How did nobody hear that? I'm pretty sure he said that pretty loud and proud, too. Well, not proud, but just loud. It can't be! It can't be! Gonta would never... By the way... You should know that it was Gonta's idea to slide the body to the chapel wall. Huh? What? Gonta's idea? Gonta... Before Gonta went to the roof, he happened to see... Mew walk through the wall. Gonta tell Kokichi and he'd think of everything else. But... Gonta gave me that chance. I like to think we make a pretty good team. Stop it! Good! What's good about that? You're the worst! Um... That's whole story. That's everything that happened. Well... So in the end, you don't plan to tell us the secret of the outside world. Sorry! Sorry! Gonta no can tell you that! Always messing Well, I mean, around. hearing that story, it sounds like you were tricked by Kokichi. How can this be? But Gonta did kill Mew. Gonta really did it. Sorry. Sorry. Everyone, Gonta's so sorry. <laughs> Gonta. <laughs> but Gonta's plan to save everyone failed. Gonta not save anyone. Gonta just make everyone suffer more. Gonta, Gonta is idiot. stupid. So stupid. How could Gonta call himself gentleman? <laughs> everyone, please forgive him. Gonta tried to save us all from despair by taking on the sin of killing us. But you reached for the truth, and Gonta's plan failed. All of you could have been saved if you died without knowing anything. Huh? So you're saying it was wrong to fight for the truth? Yeah. Yes, it was. At least, Gonta and I think so. You should have all died ignorant. Gonta even killed Mew for that sake, you know? Don't screw around! Enough of your shit! You made him kill her! Please, stop! No! Gonta is bad! Because Gonta killed someone. Gonta's murder, it's true, but it's not his fault. <laughs> yes, Gonta make everyone suffer. That is true. Sorry. Sorry. Gonta is sorry he failed everyone. Gonta is sorry for being stupid. Gonta is sorry he make everyone suffer. Gonta is so sorry. <laughs> we get it. You don't need to apologize anymore. You're probably all thinking that I should have taken on the dirty work and not Gonta, right? Everyone hates me. So the role of villain is perfect for me. I know that. Yeah, I know already. It should have been my responsibility. But when I realized Mew was targeting me, I thought to myself, she must already have a way to prevent me from fighting back in the virtual world. I suppose. And in fact, you were right. She set it up so she could paralyze you with just a touch. So am I. That's why I had to ask Gonta. I would have done it myself if I could. That's enough. Okay, but you didn't need to push everything onto Gonta to... Please stop. Stop. It's okay. <sighs> Everyone, please, don't blame Kokichi anymore. Please. Gonta, you... How nice can you be, Gonta? You really are stupid sometimes. You're, You're right. Someone as stupid as Gonta could never be a gentleman. Hey, hey! Hey, so, are we done yet? Huh? What? And you guys are starting thing. to talk in circles, so let's just move on to the exciting stuff. <laughs> yes, the eagerly anticipated punishment time! So am I! Wait, if you're gonna punish him, then please, punish me too. Huh? Kokichi. I know that! I'm prepared for it. If you're gonna execute Gonta, then I... <laughs> it's okay, Kokichi. Please let Gonta sacrifice himself, for everyone's sake. That's all Gonta can do anymore. Whoops, didn't even notice it was there. I was, I was so into it, I didn't even notice that the camera went off. But... Just promise Gonta that everyone forgive each other and be friends, okay? <sighs> Alright, I promise. Okay! Alright, it's time to punish the ultimate entomologist, Gonta Gokohara. Mm. Oh man, I bet his punishment's gonna have a lot of gross, nasty bugs. <laughs> Ah. That's right, you don't like nasty stuff. Eek. No, it's not that. It's coming. Yeah. What, already? Eek. The contractions are speeding up any minute Aye. now. Quick, hold my hand. Hold I prepared a special prepared punishment a for him. Gonta. Wait, please, I don't want this. Don't go, Gonta. No. Don't cry, Kokichi. Gonta is okay. <laughs> yeah, Gonta not cry. Gonta's really not scared, but... How can this Gonta be? Gonta upset. 
Gonta upset. He could no protect everyone. Gonta, you, you can't cry either. It's well, let's give it everything time. we've got. It's punishment time. Sorry. Gonta, love everyone. you all. Gonta, Gonta is so sorry for being stupid. That's actually so sad. And I don't even know if Kokichi is telling the truth, but I will say out of all the people in this killing game, I feel like he was the closest to Gonta, but maybe he was just close to him because he knew he could manipulate him to do whatever he wanted. So I don't know if what Kokichi said was genuine, but damn, this is tough. Poor Gonta. Like he really didn't even know what he was doing. Okay, shooting a little bug at Gonta, okay. Wild West insecticide is that what it said alter ego gonta hell i don't want to see this girl giving birth man oh no are they all gonna sting him oh shit oh no is he gonna get shot so much that he's gonna explode Oh, shit! What the hell? Boss level shit! No! Oh, shit! Both of them died? Oh, no, Gonta. God damn it, Gonta. Oh, crap. Bro! Holy shit at this execution. And he got burned? Bro, he got stolen by like a million of those things. Got shot with the needle of one of those big bitches. Both of the mono cubs died. And then he got set aflame. He got barbecue chicken at the very end. Are you shitting me, dude? Surprised? What a twist, huh? Even I didn't see that coming. All my little cubs have been destroyed. Ah, so sad. All that cuteness gone to waste. That execution. Holy shit. We got a three for the price of one execution. That was nuts! Why? What are you talking about? You're the one responsible for this! Why would you do such a thing to your own children? Because lately they've been acting all buddy-buddy and neglecting me. Yeah. Ah, I'm never gonna get the hang of this whole parenting thing. But how? Oh. Why? I still can't get over that execution. Got a minute? That was ridiculous. Doesn't matter now. We don't have time to give him attention. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna walk away quietly and go mourn my dead kids. Later! Sick freak, dog. You're a sick freak. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Why did it turn out like this? Got a minute? Hey, Kokichi, why don't you tell us now? What is the secret of the outside world? If we don't know, then we won't be able to understand or accept it. What was that? I can't accept it either, Kokichi. What is the secret of the outside world? What kind of secret will push Gonta that far? You... Kokichi, you... if you really cared for Gonta, explain yourself to everyone and... I don't... Want to? Huh? You what? I don't want to, stupid head. Oh shit! So was he even telling the truth when he didn't want Gonta to go? Kokichi. And when he asked to be punished with Gonta, was that all a lie too? <laughs> it probably was. <laughs> oh man! Did you fall for all that fake crying? Wow. You're so dumb. What a I would never cry ass. for Gonta. What a freaking unwiped ass. What? Fake. Crying. Because? If I said the actual truth back there, Gonta would have been real mad. That would have interfered with the game. So I simply lied to calm him down. <laughs> what an asshole, dude. As long as you lie for a good purpose, right? What? What? Hey. What do you mean, what really happened? Why did you make him do that? Well, you're not. Obviously, so it wouldn't be boring. Huh? What are you... Which means... I gave Gonta an incentive because I thought it'd liven up the game. Come on, think about it. If I actually wanted to save everyone, like what Gonta did, really I wouldn't have betrayed it. Gonta. You should have realized that. Hey! Then why did Gonta... <laughs> oh, no, not the knees. Who Anything but the knees. That idiot? I want to enjoy this game filled with suspicion and betrayal from the bottom of my heart. Kokiji gave us one of his creepy smiles. When does he not give the creepy smile? When I saw it, I finally saw Kokichi for what he really is. Malice. His entire body, nothing but raw and unfettered malice. I am the supreme leader of evil, so it's obvious my personality would be twisted. The more you suffer, the more I am. 
Enjoy Jesus. There are people in this world who spread grief and misery for no reason than the thrill of it. This man is sick. And I'm one of those people. Nothing pleases me more than inflicting pain on others! You, seriously? You? Who the hell do you think you are? Then? So for your own entertainment, you sacrifice Mew and Gonta? You're so dumb. What's so bad about that? You kill people for money, right, Maki Roll? You bastard. Someone like you has no right to call me Maki Roll. Do you want to die? die? <laughs> <laughs> you look so much better with a scowl on your face, Maki Roll. But hey, you guys are just way too trusting. If only you had suspected me more than... <laughs> Mew and Gonta wouldn't have died such meaningless deaths! Don't screw around! Meaningless deaths! Kaito screamed and sprinted up to Kokichi like a bullet. A dull thud resounded through our skulls. I mean, he got what he deserved. Oops. Oh, what? Sorry. I tried to dodge you, but I punched you instead. Oh, shit. My bad, Kokichi Kaito. with the shits? Kokichi you... got a one, two, one, two? Oh, wait, Kaito. Is it just me? Or are you way slower? <laughs> I did not expect that. Maybe. Just maybe. Kaito is hiding something from us, too. Kaito! Kaito, are you okay? Whoa, Maki with the caring for other people, okay. Kaito kept coming at him, and Maki glared at Kokichi with piercing eyes. Is that a minute? For someone who claims to be bad at fighting, you were pretty agile just now. <laughs> and you believe the lie like that? Bastard. You really want to die, don't you? Let's have more. Oh, fun. did I finally provoke you enough? Is it because of Kaito? Maki. No, Maki. <laughs> what am I thinking? Maki wouldn't lose her cool for a guy like Kaito. He's way too pathetic. He's all bark and no bite. Let's face it, the ultimate astronaut is just a trainee anyway. Kohiji never got to finish his provocation. No one cared what he had to say anymore. They all rushed to Kaito's side. Right? Kaito, are you hurt? Are you alright? Can you stand? Do you need to lean on my shoulder? Sorry. Sorry, my MP's at zero, so I can't use any recovery magic. Oh? Hey, why are you all so worried about this pathetic- That's wrong! Pathetic? Look at yourself, Kokichi. Mm hmm? What? No. Kaito always has us by his side, see? But no one wants to be around you. You're alone, Kokichi. And you always will be. <laughs> You're talking about friends? Friends don't make this game more enter- Oh, Jeez, man. boring. I'm no longer interested. I don't care anymore. But I will tell you this. <laughs> the one who will win this game is me. And then he's gonna twirl on out of here. Yep, there you go. Kokichi spat out those words, then left the room. Kaito! Kaito, are you okay? Uh, huh? Hey, Kaito? Hey! You don't look well. It didn't seem like he punched you that hard, but... What? Did you hit your head or something? Uh, I'm okay. It's fine. Okay? Don't push yourself. You should lie down and... Uh, I said, I'm fine. Kaito tried to get up, but... Ugh. Kaito doubled over, his knees gave out, and he collapsed hard. <laughs> what? Kaito? Blood? Why? What's the matter, Kaito? Come on, don't freak out over this. It's nothing. My cold just got worse is all. Since when does coughing up blood become one of the symptoms of a cold? I didn't know that coughing up blood was a cold symptom. Hey, Kibo, come on, man. That's my line, dog. You're a robot, and you don't know that? I'm saying it's fine. Just chill. I'm chill. I've been chill. I just coughed too much and cut my throat or something. I don't know. As he spoke, he somehow got to his feet. <sighs> yeah, that's it. I just need a drink of water. Sorry, but I'm gonna head back to my room. Kaito! Okay, I'll go with- Shut up! Don't follow me! Huh? What? Uh... I can walk on my own. I don't need your help, Shuichi. Kaito staggered off. Well... I'll go with him. It would be bad if he collapses on the way. Um... Right, we'll leave it to you then. <laughs> don't worry about it, Shuichi. Kaito was just stressed out is all. Why? Why did it end up like this? I thought... I thought I could help. I wanted us all to survive. And I wanted it so damn bad, I kept fighting for it. Fighting for the truth. And this is what I get? By trying to survive, we're just playing the stupid game. Just like Okichi. Damn it!
It's almost time. Yeah, it's almost time. This should be enough. I'll end it. Holy crap, that's scary. Now is the time I'll end this killing game. What in the world, dude? That face is horrifying. This world is mine, Kokichi. Oh, he was the one that wrote that the whole time? Mother sucker, bro. All right, everybody. That was nuts. That was actually nuts. That was a really, really, really good class trial. Sucks for Gonta, man. He didn't even know what he was doing. There's seven people left. Might be six because we don't know what's up with Kaito. Something's up with him, but he's just not telling us. But yeah, we are going to end this episode here. That fourth class trial was mwah. That was amazing. Hopefully you guys want to see the next episode as soon as possible. If you do, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.